What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here with Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 15,000 subs, I would really appreciate it. But the sun is just coming up and me and Caden are out here in this little canal system right here. We're up north right now, I don't really wanna say where we are just because this place is pretty secret. There's a ton of pike in here, so. But today's episode is going to be about pike smearing. He actually contacted me, I think, a couple days ago. That I think he messaged me either on Instagram or Snapchat to come up here pike spearing with him. And honestly, guys, I haven't done it a ton, but I was super excited to get up here and try it out. I've speared a decent amount of pike growing up, but... He said he's been getting a ton of big ones and just a ton of fish, so I was super pumped to get up here and try it out today. I haven't been spearing in probably like three or four years or longer, so it was really, really cool that he contacted me and invited me up here. Really appreciate Caden. He's in the shanty right now watching for Pike, but I figured I would do my intro just because the sun is up now. but. I'm going to get back in there. Hopefully we can get on a couple pike today. That would be awesome. But stay tuned for the video and really appreciate you guys stopping by. But let's get in there. Hopefully spear a couple. All right, guys. I'm going to talk about these decoys a little bit and the reason why we use them. So when you're pike spearing, you don't want to track the pike. They're not going to come and look at these decoys because they're hungry. They're going to be coming in because they've never seen anything swimming around there like this. And it makes them curious. They just want to come and check it out and see what's going on with it. And uh, you can buy expensive decoys or you can make your own like I made mine. And uh, I just made it out of some wood to add some weight on it. It doesn't need to be anything special. These fish aren't, they aren't super smart. But I'll show you how it looks like down there. So those pike, they see those decoys swimming around down there and it makes them curious. They're trying to figure out what it is. And when they come in and look at it, that's when you spear them. I'll let you spear the first one that comes in. All right. Thanks. Yeah, I've never seen this water so clear. Normally I can't see the bottom. Really? That's crazy. That decoy is pretty cool. That one. You carved that and everything? Yeah, I just Help. made it. Just whipped it up real quick in the garage. What the heck? It's pretty sweet. It works good too. Yeah, dang. Looks like it. Spear a lot of fish off of it. Yeah. You can see it's missing paint on one of the fins because yeah. it had so many pike come and bite it. Seems like these ones are always like the size people use. Yeah, we have we have all different kinds too. Yeah. These are normally the two that I run. I like to have a. I always like to have a red and white one down. Yeah. I like to have a red and white and something bright colored. I know. Aren't they pretty like skittish when like they're in the hole? Yeah, you just can't when they're down there. You can't really move your feet a lot. You just gotta. When I get one coming, I usually just pull it up like this. Yeah. Usually get the spear ball like that right in the there. water before I throw it. All right. Like on cut angling, angling's best friend. They do a ton of videos together usually. Oh, there's one coming in already. Oh yeah, shit. You two, there's get two, it? there's two at one time. Oh shit. That one's bigger. Which one? The one, the one coming, facing right at me right now. You can probably wait a second for me. Come on, get that spear in the water a little more. Throw when you're ready. Like angled that way. Yep. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Yep. <laughs> you're pulling up. Really? First bite, guys. On the spear. Do you think he'll get off if I pull him too hard? I'm gonna just hit him with this. Yeah, I like got him. If he comes up, I'll like stab him. Yeah, hit him. Dang, I 
That's crazy. I went down the hot here ever. That was sweet. Slam we'll two at once. That was crazy. I've never right seen that. My heart was racing. That was a bad throw. It was like, it's not it's terrible. Like I got him. Well, guys, I just speared my first pike of 2022 thanks to my buddy Caden. He invited me out here, but that was super cool. We had two pike actually in the hole at one time, but we only have one spear right now with a rope on it because we tied the other rope um, to the ice just because it's super windy out here and we didn't want the shanty to be sliding away, but super cool. I speared him right there in the mouth. So, wasn't the greatest throw, but I got him. But pretty cool, guys. We're gonna get everything set up again. Um, hopefully, get on a couple more. Are you wanting this back? Uh, you can keep using it if you need to. All right. Apparently, you can just throw them in the washer. All right, oh, that's I came, cool. I came with eight of them. Back, that's sweet. This suit's really warm though. Yeah, that. That's sweet. Guess we gotta do the pike dance. <laughs> Sometimes, if I don't see anything by, for a while, I switch up decoys. Yeah, uh, you have other ones. Oh yeah, there's another one. Yeah, I got one more. I'll probably switch. I probably just switch this one out. Uh, I always like having this down there. Just because it puts out a lot of flash. Yeah. It's like reflective tape on the side. Yeah. I like how it spins like that. It's like a dying fish. Yeah, it took it took a while to figure out how to use it. Yeah. Every time I lift it up, it would just like shoot off to the side. Uh, oh, there's one. You can get this one. Walk away from it, come a little closer. Come on. Alright, guys, we have a pike in the hole right now. Pretty decent one, too. Just like sit there and watch it and then smoke it or what? Yeah. Oh, looks like he's going away. Maybe not. Here he comes. It looks like I want him to get in the frame. Be in it now. You want me to check or will I scare him? Let's get him. Nice. <laughs> he drilled him. Cool. That was a good Perfect. Alright guys, Caden just speared this one. It just came in. It was on the left side of the hole. Hopefully the GoPro got it, but pretty nice pike. What do you think it was? Like 26 inches or something? Yeah, probably close to 26. But super cool guys. This is my first time smearing in probably a couple of years, so it's pretty, pretty cool. Um it's a crazy experience too just seeing those fish come in right after the decoy and just throw that spear in there it's super cool but hopefully you can get on a couple more but we're gonna get this one unhooked and throw them outside but you usually come out here and see like way more yeah Dang. I feel like usually. we've seen a lot just like in my experience with spearing with other people we'll usually see like one or two all day yeah most most good spots is you see like five, but in this spot for some reason usually there's a lot there's a lot of smaller fish in here. Yeah. 
but for some reason they're just I don't know, slower today. Still did good though, we got the ones that we saw. Something. Yeah, it's like a, such a crazy way to die too. That is, I think that'd suck. It's sad. Uh... We have a. There's at least one person that dies every year out here on the bay. Uh, Saint Clair too. People always die out there. Did I get him? Yeah, you smoked him. Sweet. I don't even know. I seen that. I couldn't see it at all. Yeah. He was like way back here. Sweet. You might want to jam that spear down so he doesn't. Yeah. Like that? I'll get this one ready in case he comes off. Alright. Uh, that was crazy. I barely seen it. He almost came. Or he almost went through. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't want to lose it. Just kind of get him up on it. Put that screw up on an angle. There you go. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, we just got on our third pike spearing. I'm um, having a blast out here with Caden, but we actually were just playing on our phones for a little, to be honest. And I just so happened to look down and he was on this very close edge right along our toes and I just barely seen him coming through. Caden didn't even see it, I just spotted it. And I got a pretty good shot on that one right behind his head in the back right here. Um, is that where you're supposed to hit him? Yep. Right behind the head. So super cool guys, um, but that's pretty crazy spearing him. We usually, or, I usually just go set up tip ups or something with my dad for these northern pike, but what do you think that one is? Like he's probably 25, 26. 25, 26 inches. So we're gonna wait. Maybe we'll get on a 35 incher. There's a bunch of pike in here, guys, though, so pretty cool. Gonna get this one hooked and maybe get a picture real quick, but well guys we are doing pretty good we got three pike so far so that is pretty crazy that's the most pike i've ever speared or been with out on the ice getting three pike that's pretty sweet but um it's only what 10 30 11 yeah. o'clock we're gonna sit out here for a little while um hopefully get our limit what do you say two a piece yeah, so we can get one more cool. so maybe we'll get on a giant that would be pretty cool he said his dad actually speared a 41 incher a couple days ago so that's a monster guys my biggest ever just through the tip up was a 39 or 39 and a half so that's a pretty nice one but a 41 incher that's crazy but we're gonna keep messing with these decoys maybe bring in a giant that would be sweet but hopefully get on another one we'll see you guys here in a sec at the next spearing so guys we were actually packing up right now we sat for probably like five hours or longer and we managed to see five northern pike come through the hole and we got three so that was crazy that's the most i've ever speared um in my whole life that was crazy but he caden said that it was a pretty slow day but to me that was crazy fun um i i speared two and he speared one we caught or we speared some pretty nice ones in my opinion, but um, I don't know if we got that 30 incher. We got a couple high 20s, so that was super, super cool, guys. But we're packing everything up right now. I have a two hour drive back home. So gonna get everything packed up and head back to the house. But I really appreciate Caden for inviting me out here. That was a blast coming up here spearing. Like I said, I woke up at like four this morning. I was so excited to come up here and spear some pike, but 
He said that he might come down to Lake Orion soon and spear down there, so it would be really cool, but appreciate you guys stopping by today's video, and we will see you in the next one. Stay tuned, guys.